Hi, I'm Meredith Cheesebro. Um, nothing about this video is not how I am in real life, uh, by which I mean this video is not a joke. It's a joke. Is it a joke? I don't know. It's not a joke. I'm talking about real things. I just got back from the cottage. It's the end of August. Shannon pointed out to me that uh, next week it's September. Not impressed with that. Um, Shannon is my roommate when we live together. This is my new room. Could have a sneak peek of it. This is what I'm doing with it. I'm going to do a lot of different things with it, but for now, the scarf, the, this, the scarf, <laughs> is my favorite pattern in the entire world. So, I wish I could have more of it. Um... Yeah, so I started uh, seeing a therapist, as all comedians should. Just kidding. Okay. I started seeing a therapist, and I thought I would just talk a little bit about uh, what that has been like for me. Also, I'm not wearing any makeup, and it looks like I don't have any eyelashes. And I have a bit of a cold. So that's what's going on with me. If you were my therapist, I would keep talking for another an hour. Okay, anyway. Um... I felt like, like I have a lot of friends that I always give advice to, no, like on the regular, cool expression, right? And um, I felt like I was always being, well, you should see a therapist, I think it's that therapist could help you sort this out. And generally when I say that, what I mean is, you sound crazy, I don't know why you're doing the same thing again and again, I don't know why you're still involved with that dude, holy shit, find something else to do with your time. Generally that's what I mean. Anyway, so I decided to start seeing a therapist who actually is only a graduate of a therapy school recently who also probably has a Google alert for my name and will watch this video. I hope so. That would be really funny. Um, anyway, so he's just starting out and I'm just starting out in therapy. So I think a lot about his process and my process and um, how we could learn from each other. The other thing is that after... After actually starting therapy, I wonder how effective it could possibly be. Like, really, guy? You're going to help me sort out what's wrong with me? Like, really? I don't know. But I feel like it can't hurt because, I mean, it's just an hour a week basically meditating on um, who you are, what you're doing, and what you want to be doing. And it can only help, right? theory. Um, I do wonder though if my therapist thinks that I'm a pathological liar because all of my stories are so stupid <laughs> and I don't, I don't really think I sound that crazy but um, I did, I do tell them like really weird, I don't know, all my friends have very stupid names and there's so many of them, they're always doing stupid things and some of them are like, I don't know. I just wonder if he thinks I'm a pathological liar. But probably I would make up more better things if I was a pathological liar, I guess. Um, I do I do think that he gives me so far a bit too much of the benefit of the doubt. Like, so far he seems to think I'm a rational person. And he was like, you seem like a really honest person. I was like, oh yeah, I turned on red receipts on my iPhone. Like, that was the thing that mattered. But seriously, having red receipts on your iPhone where when you send the message, when somebody sends you a message, you have it turned on so you, they can see when you look at that message. Oh my goodness, as a single woman, I am taking a risk with having that on. I'll tell you that for free. It is. Anyway, <laughs> I think it's really funny to have it on. So I'm going to try to keep having it on. Oh my God, I love this scarf so much. I just love it. This one, the scarf. I love it. Um... Anyway, I've been thinking about some questions that i got to ask my therapist. Number one, in which ways do you think I'm a nutso? <laughs> I really just want to ask him, like, what, um, what parts of me are the craziest parts that you think already? Oh, also, I've only been seeing this guy for a few weeks, but I'm into it. Uh, number two, which jokes do you think are the funniest? What a terrible question to ask your therapist. Also, I have to learn how to tell my stories 
for accuracy instead of just for comedic value or because that's what I feel like talking about. I'll be like, I feel like talking about this one babe that is involved with forever and ever. And then I'll be like, oh shit. It'll be like the end of the session. I'll be like, oh shit. I forgot to mention that I was involved with two other people during that time period. And probably uh, this whole thing is just made up in my mind. So, sorry. Also, a million other things happened which influenced all of this. I'm sure everybody's like that. Huh. Here I am overthinking my therapy sessions to the internet. Uh, number three, uh, do you think you're a smart guy or just a medium smart guy? Because I have no interest in listening to opinions from medium smart guy. That's really rude. <sighs> I wish that I could find a therapist that had the exact same positions on everything. My favorite position is starfish, we all know. Uh, that has the exact same positions on me morally and um, just in life. The same exact positions as me on everything. Then I would trust his opinion. Basically my mother only a little more easygoing and a therapist. Maybe he's like that. He hates Nickelback at least. Um, number four. I don't know what I'm around. Do you think you're actually going to fix me? worthwhile knowing right also I'm not that broken right guys right guys I'm just a cool regular guy who's not that broken probably not um next one I feel like there wait oh I feel like the difference between seeming uh normal and seeming bananas is like a split second away from each other I would like him to keep an eye on that for me uh, next one. Oh, I would like him to answer the question. Since I don't know anything about anything, how the fuck do I think it's okay to sound like I know everything all the time and to always be talking like I know about things and always be interrupting people? Holy shit, that's fucking annoying. How do I stop doing that? Anyone? Um, I don't know if I have anything else. Oh, maybe. Um, oh, I want to ask him, I want to be like, you're married. Do you think being married is better than being single? Are you judging me? Do you think it's bad? Do you think I'm going to be a sad person if I never get married? Because I don't think that, even though that's what I'm paranoid about. Oh, man. I'm going to have to see, keep seeing this guy, I guess. Um, oh, here's a good question I want to ask him. How come... When people are so nice and so kind and so giving and loving, sometimes they just want to punch them in the face. I bet that's probably normal too, but holy shit. Holy shit, do I want to punch nice people in the face sometimes, right? Probably booze related. I don't feel like he's asked me that much about my drinking weird. Um, anyway, just some beginning... Uh, Questions I'm thinking about asking my guy, my new, my new special someone, my new, <laughs> my, the new man in my life. Okay. Also, not having any makeup is funny. Also, um, being a woman is really, really weird. And a thing that I said to Shannon, my roommate, Shannon, my roommate, today, that I thought was nice was, um, I'm the kind of good looking that uh, nobody would fall in love with me just because my looks. So if they fell in love with me, instead they'd just be like, oh, that she's mildly attractive is an added bonus. Bonus. Added bonus. Added bonus. Um, but I'm happy with the good looking degree that I am, but tomorrow I'm going to go get fake eyelashes. Maybe after that I'll go get some fake hair. Maybe I... After that, I'll get a tan. Just kidding, I'll look the worst. Just kidding, I got a tan when I was at the cottage. You can't tell because I wasn't wearing roomy clothes. Okay. Um, wish me luck. If you want to be my therapist, give me a call. My number is 416 eat shit and <laughs> eat shit and fall asleep. Okay. Uh, sorry, my mom, mom, if I insulted you in this video. Okay, bye. I miss you. Bye. 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 I miss you. Bye.